When I get on the football field, I like to have fun. And it's kind of a nice break from school. Teammates do a great job of, of doing their job, and I just try to do my job and make the plays when they come to me. I just like fighting the ball, I like the challenge of going against the running back in the hole. Coming here, you know, I knew it was going to be a very competitive conference. Uh, you know, week in, week out, you, you could win or lose. And seeing it grow from going not even 500 to now winning nine games and going to a bowl game, it's been awesome. Hold your water, hold your water. So as the middle linebacker, you're kind of like the leader of the defense. You're calling the plays, you're making the checks. So you really got to be in your film uh, week in, week out, making sure you know the tendencies, making sure you know the different formations and the personnel. That kind of correlates to school a little bit, but you have to study to be successful. So you're studying the opponent. So game day, you can fly around, make all the plays, and not have to think about it. You can just go play and have fun. You got 36. Kind of the same with school. You study, you put the work in during the week, but a lot of it is just time management and setting your priorities straight. When that test time comes, you'll ace it. So I grew up on a farm. I like to work with my hands and fix things. So that kind of led me to the engineering route. For the aerospace side of things, my mom's dad, my grandpa, Papa Joe, he always was building RC planes with me, and so that kind of got me hooked on the aerospace. I actually just accepted a job with Boeing in St. Louis for flight test engineering. I'll be graduating in May of 19, and then I'll start the job after that if I don't make it to the next level in football, which is always a hope. A lot of times as a D2 player, you don't really get a lot of looks at going pro. So after the season concludes, we'll start training with a couple other guys from the team for like a pro day. Our number one goal before the season started was win conference. There's also another goal, you know, make the playoffs, make the postseason. It's awesome to still be able to play in the postseason, second time ever happening in S&T's history. Senior day, you think it's your last game, getting to play, and then you get that postseason berth, you get one more game with all your brothers. One last time to have fun. These past five years have been probably the best of my life so far. You make memories with people that you'll be friends for a lifetime um, just because athletics brought you together and being able to see the support from all the alumni and all the emails that we're getting. The minors are a different group of people. We know we got probably one of the hardest schools out there and we still have to be competitive in football and, and still put in all the work and even more work than all the other teams. Minor stuff to me means no excuses. We're not gonna back down from anything. It doesn't matter what you put in our face. We're gonna bear down, go to work, get it done.